My name is William Baxter Donald. I was born August 17th, 1947, here in, in Jackson in Madison County. For Billy Donald, farming and Farm Bureau have always been a part of his life. His parents, William Watford and Lanier Exum Donald, were both heavily involved in Farm Bureau, serving as directors on the board of the Madison County Farm Bureau. He grew up on his family's farm where his father raised cotton, corn, and had some commercial beef cattle. He was an only child but found some playmates with the eight kids in the family who were tenants on their farm. But Billy had little interest in playing. He knew what he wanted to do at an early age. I wanted to be a farmer all my life. I don't know, I was 10, 12 years old. I started baling hay for daddy or for the family, as well as some custom baby. That love of farming helped guide him in his academic career, as he was very involved in 4-H and FFA. Billy graduated from Northside High School in 1965 and began his college career at the University of Tennessee at Martin. He transferred to UT Knoxville to pursue a major in animal science. It was in the latter part of his college days that Billy tied the knot with the love of his life, the former Roseanne McCallum. They had been friends since childhood. We met at a spaghetti supper in a community between where she lived or where she was raised and where I was raised. And uh, we started dating a little bit then and then off and on through high school, college, mostly on during college, and then got married, uh, like I said, uh, 53 years ago, isn't that right, honey? 53 years ago, the step past September. The newly married couple finished their college career together in 1970, and they returned home to Madison County to fulfill the dream that Billy had had since he was a child. He took over the family farming operation from his father, and they started their own family with two sons. Today, they enjoy their five grandchildren. And Billy and Roseanne followed in their parents' footsteps, becoming active in Farm Bureau. First, with the Young Farmers and Homemakers program, where Billy was named the state's Young Farmer of the Year in 1973, and they both have been active board members since. And that's one of the things that, 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 wife and H or wife and R now uh, stress that we need to get involved. Billy's love for Farm Bureau led to involvement in other ag organizations. He served on the board of his local county co-op and the Livestock Association. Perhaps his most important community involvement was with his church, the Mount Carmel United Methodist, where they have faithfully attended for decades. I believe in the Lord and you know it's uh, it's just something that, uh, well, as far as I'm concerned, it's something you're supposed to do on Sundays to go to church, you know. Through the years, the farming operation has changed. Billy doesn't grow cotton anymore, and for nearly 20 years now, the Donald's operation has transformed into an agritourism destination. They have a pumpkin patch, corn maze, and country store to share the important story of agriculture with school groups and many more each year. My wife started, started the deal because she, and I, she's a teacher, I'm not. But I do believe in her, her principle that kids need to know that food comes from agriculture. We're still adding, adding and growing, and people like to come out to the farm in the open spaces. Through the changes of his operation, the constant in Billy's farming career has been Farm Bureau. It's been a big part of our life, both of us. A lot of people have them pegged as an insurance company, and they are, and a good one but they do a lot of more good for farmers than just insurance. There's Billy, right there. And the legislature and the, just, just a lot of things like that. And because of his years of dedication to Farm Bureau and the agricultural industry, today Mr. Billy Donald is being presented with Farm Bureau's highest honor, the Distinguished Service Award. I'm very appreciative of it. Uh, you know, uh, don't know that I deserve it, don't feel like I've done enough to deserve it. Other people have done a lot more. Uh, but I, you know, I've tried, I've done what I could. I believe in the organization and the people behind it. They're good, honest, 
Christian people. Mr. Donnell, we are uh, honored to present this award to you tonight. Uh, and we're definitely glad that you can remember how long you've been married. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't. I was thinking about one of the highlights, and I, we started in the Young Farmers and Homemakers in uh, 71. We graduated college in 70. But somewhere along in there, my wife was queen, and I got to sleep with queen for a year. <laughs> That's probably enough said, right? Thank, thank, you, thank you very much. I, I'm certainly appreciative of it. Uh, there's a video said that her, her daddy was uh, chairman of the Madison County group there for a while, and, and we're just a Farm Bureau family, and we do believe in it. 